Hello. I'll try again. I keep touching the screen with my finger whilst holding the phone and it keeps knocking it out. So, this is a uh, final refill type thing on my 24 hour build, live build yesterday, or ended this morning. I'm tired, it was fun. I shan't be doing them too often because it just it's drained me, but um, nonetheless, it's. Um, I've built a model from start to finish in under 24 hours. So uh, that's all good stuff. And um, oh, I've got a swivel chair as well, which is really good. So I can see them across my room, fall down the stairs and whatnot. But anyway, here goes. I'll show you the Mitsubishi Diner. Um, in its finished form, I suppose. Now I've got to find somewhere to put it. Okay, here it goes. Right. There she is. Is it in focus? Don't look focused. Could be focused. But, um, yeah, I did uh, little bits of chipping around the engine cows and the cells, I think, whatever they're called. Um, bit on the wingtips. Had fun masking the canopies, because there's two of them. There's bits there I've seen I could have done but I didn't around the edges or inside the cockpit it is all um, painted inside but at least you can see the uh, pilots. So yeah, it's all painted up in humble enamels, airbrushed. Um, bit of weathering, I don't know if you can see the streaks not too well, you can see them just about there but um, I think what I should need to get is some um, matte coat but um, also it's my first Japanese model as well but it's all good fun I'm just chuffed I've finished the model that soon. So, uh, all good stuff. I'm pleased with it. But, um, yeah, brilliant. Glad I did that. But, like I say, it's uh, gets you tired, or it got me tired. It looks like them chips are too in uniform, but all good learning and good fun. And that is all that matters, really. So, uh, there you go. If I sound dreary, it's because I'm tired, but that's just me repeating myself. We don't want to keep repeating ourselves. But anyway, I'm going to try and pause you again and see what happens. Okay, I think that happens quite well because I haven't heard any beeps or anything. Excuse me, I need a shave as well. Anyway, um, yeah, so I want to show you something I'm really chuffed about. It was my birthday the other day and I've got a, a few, well, three model kits is all good and oddly enough they're all German. One of which is, um, oh, I'll show you in a minute, um, but uh, one I'm excited about is um, this one. So uh, I will show you. It's the Turpitz German battleship and it's got some lovely box art it's anchored down in the, I don't know where that would be, somewhere looking nice, but um, I will look forward to building it. This is where Guido Hop comes to mind, because I want to do all this 
rigging properly, neatly. Same with the kit I have noticed, which is a bit of a disappointment, is the railings. There is no railings in the kit, which I thought was a bit odd. Well, I've already lifted that off because it's quite a tight squeeze. I won't do a review type thing, but just a quick show really. Could put a light on as well, couldn't I? Because, um, well, so got two lots of uh, instructions, bits of information I have not read on yet, but I'm going to read up on it on the old Wikipedia. So, um, it's just a quick blast through. Loads of work. Well, I actually say loads of work. It doesn't seem to be a lot, but I think you'll find it is. Now, I'm not going to start this for a little while. Reason being, there's an Edward photo etch set for it. And the reason I want that is because it's got railings. Because you see a picture of the completed model. There's no railings. And this swivel chair is a bit of a squeaker by the sounds of things. So that's that. That's more or less the size of your hole, lower hole. So, um... Good stuff. It's got a nice little um, battery box in there. It's obviously Tamiar. It was radio controlled, but this won't be, obviously. And um, I can't fit it in. There we go. So you've got um, various sprues with your decking and turret holders, there's quite a few turrets there's 8 turrets just sitting there but um, yeah haven't been through it and looked at it properly because the bags are still sealed with staples um, but there's lots so it's going to be all good fun but I shall uh, before, because I've just said photo etch kit, before I do this, I want to do the SAS Land Rover with the uh, photo etch set I've got for that from Norm. Um, there's two more turret holes, isn't it? Perhaps they're not all turrets, I don't know. And that's the last one with all bits and bobs. So that's all good fun. So I might do a proper review on that if you're not interested. Tough. I'm going to do one. But I'll just get the lid out of the way. What I also got, which uh, Dutch modeler's got because he was building it online last night is the Academy King Tiger with Opta camouflage um, and a piece of photo which so I might do a review on that because that's all good stuff and it's actually quite a heavy box so that's the second German piece and my third German piece is um, this Hannah Meg half trap thing with figures? But all looks good. Looked at that. That's a 1973 kit, and it's another present from my um, granddaughter there, Amelia. So uh, all good stuff. So yeah. Well. It's a good birthday. Um.
Um, I've got a few kits. Spin round in the light. Um, yeah, it's all good stuff. I might do some box reviews of the ship. The uh, half track, the King of Tiger. I want to do a review on the um, Tiger One as well. So, uh, once I get a chance, I might not do it yet because I could actually go to sleep again right now. But I don't want to waste a day away. And the dog needs to go out. So, uh, excuse me. Right, um, that's that for now. Um, thank you to Chris and Alex for allowing me in your group build yesterday, or for the last 24 hours. Um, and that's it. So until the next time, I shall see you again. Okay, ta -ra.